guys one thing i really like about this car is when you unlock it just look at the handles that is a pretty fancy feature or someone tells you some bullshit like ppf lagaoge to dikhega ya ganda dikhta hai ya yellow ho jata hai ha you can back to another video and this is probably the first video we're going to be doing a ceramic and a ppf on a new car the car that we have today is the xv 700 which by the way is about 10 days old so we haven't really taken off any of the plastics just yet we're going to be coating the leather as well as well as all the other things inside and um, i have to say this car looks really fancy a lot of people come to me and say the showroom is doing ceramic coating and they don't even know what claying is or why we even do claying so this is an important step that shouldn't be missed out showroom guys pretty much just take a bottle of ceramic and put it onto the paint if the pores aren't clear if the contamination is not off the paint you can't really do ceramic your paint has to be completely cured before you can even do ceramic so remember all these steps why we're showing you this process is so that you know as a so what we're going to be doing is the bonnet is going to be get done ppf the doors the bumpers and the handles as well as the mirrors all of them are going to be done in ppf so we're not going to be ceramic coating those parts but um, the other parts will get ceramic coated with a graphene um, top coat so we're going to take you through the entire process so you see what happens step by step and uh you have a better understanding of how it takes place and what is the process so let's pretty much start if you've seen the xv 5 on this pretty much has the same silhouette as the xv 500 but um really like the headlights i think this is a huge unit by the way uh, in person seems a lot bigger because this goes all the way and comes all the way down so this is a really prominent feature of the car and i think this is the first mahindra with the new change logo so gone is the old design which you see on all the bolero pickups and the thar also so this is the new Design for Mahindra. I somehow really like and reminds you of the old Maruti logo. If um, someone has that, that reminds you of the old Maruti logo, which is there. But this looks really nice, and the insides feel like a German car, because they feel nothing like a Mahindra. I think Mahindra has gone a long way in, um, you know, changing everything inside. This really feels premium, and when you open the car, the seat pretty much slides back all the way, and when you sit, you kind of come back into position. which by the way is a great feature uh, for entry and exit makes it a lot easier you've got your memory seats here as well and all your door controls are right here i like the piano black finish is really nice even the leather um, the leather pads feel very very soft and good you've got hard plastics here and um, here as well is where you get hard plastic but this is the feature that is the killer feature of this car which is the full display that comes in all the way from speedometer to the entertainment and i'll show you those features later but yeah these are all um, hard plastics you don't get any soft plastics except here which is um leather or fall leather wrapped this is all hard plastics and um, you get the same new logo here as well these controls by the way are very similar to the ones you get in the thar and the buttons uh, even the gear lever so that is um, something that's carry forward i think and they've kept common through the range apart from that in the center they've kept it very neat with just the handbrake the gear and um, your toggle for the mmi display and you've got just the center console which is there which is huge by the way and you've got good enough storage and you can store some knickknacks here as well so yeah that is good the beige theme is nice and we'll just look at the moon roof it extends all the way till behind so it gives the cabin really spacious kind of feel so yeah now you've you've pretty much got the tour of the XV 700 let's get started with the process and uh, take you through it we're going to be starting the decontamination all the decals and all the pores before we start cleaning the car so decontamination is what we're starting step after we done with the decontamination which basically removes all the dirt and grime from all the corners is the claying process that we're going to be doing onto the paint bakshodi bhi chal rahi hai side mein ye hamare anand ji ye kya gaadi isse saaf karenge ye dalne hai isse moving on to the claying process so the claying process involves we put a clay lube onto the um, clay towel and then we put it onto the paint so that there all the contamination which is unseen which comes in from the factory as well that can be removed because there are uh, a lot of contamination that is unseen you can feel it with a specialized uh, plastic glove but you can't really see that so that needs to be cleared off before we start any detailing onto the paint and if we're doing ceramic we pretty much have to do it all the way so this process is very important which a lot of people skip out so a lot of people come to me and say the showroom is doing ceramic coating and they don't even know what claying is or why we even do claying so this is an important step that shouldn't be missed out showroom guys pretty much just take a bottle of ceramic and put it onto the paint if the pores aren't clear if the contamination is not off the paint you can't really do ceramic your paint has to be completely cured before you can even do ceramic 
So remember all these steps, why we're showing you this process is so that you know as a, as a consumer, you have an idea as to what really goes on before the ceramic goes on. And these steps should be done and they shouldn't be skipped. Otherwise, uh, the entire effect of the ceramic won't be at its uh, prime. So this is why we need to follow each and every step before we do ceramic. done with the washing stage and the next thing now move the scratches from the paint so we're going to be doing light compounding uh, we're going to be doing that twice and uh, then we're going to be polishing it so that we have no scratches left onto the paint we have to ensure before we do the ppf we have no scratches left onto the paint because otherwise you can see that after the ppf and once the ppf is applied you can't really take off those scratches so that process has to be done it has to be done well so there are no scratches left so that's what we're going to be doing compounding and polishing the entire paint so nothing is left so yeah Let's get to that process because even if there are a couple of scratches left and you do ceramic over it or PPF, if you do PPF, that's about it. You can't do anything after that. So you have to make sure that your paint is completely glossy without any scratches and then you apply the PPF to kind of seal it out. Similarly, uh, it goes for ceramic as well. Guys, one thing I really like about this car is when you unlock it, just look at the handles. That is a pretty fancy feature. I think this is really nice. It gives a flush look to the entire door as well. So when you lock it, the handles go back in. This, by the way, is a self-healing PPF, so even if I scratch it with a wire brush, nothing will happen to it. Just look at it, it looks beautiful. We're going to start the application of the PPF, which has already been started. And a lot of people have this misconception that when you put PPF, you can see it on the paint or there are some clear lines that you can make out. Yes, if you don't put it in one piece, then you can see the lines onto the paint. If it's put in one piece and the application is done properly, you're never really going to find um, a mark of PPF. It'll pretty much merge exactly the paint. That's exactly what I'm about to show you. Basically, if I cut the PPF here in half, right, that is when the line will show. So this is a ceramic coated uh, portion and this is done with PPF. So this is to clear our misconception of people that you can make out that there is PPF on the car. You can't really make out there's any PPF on the car. This is done with PPF and this is with ceramic. You can't really make out the difference. If you put the whole sheet, if yes, I cut it from in between, you'll be able to see the line. But we've covered the full absolute door and you can see here is the this is the ppf sheet which is the extra part we're going to fold it and then cut it inside so if it's done properly you can't really make out ppf from a ceramic coated portion they pretty much look the same that's why you have to use that's why you use a good quality uh, ppf so you can't really make out the difference and it blends perfectly with the entire car So this is exactly why you need to use a good quality PPF and the application also should be good so that you can't really make out that there is PPF and your car is protected and you don't really lose out on the look of your car. So the next time you want to get PPF done, just be rest assured that it would not make a difference if done properly onto the entire paint and it'll look beautiful if done properly. So this is how it looks from far. Right now it's a little wet, there will be water droplets but just look at that. This is with PPF. So guys, next time someone tells you you're using PPF, don't use PPF or um, they tell you you can really see it this is the original paint this is ppf someone please tell me how the hell could you make out there is ppf on this that part is going to get cut and go inside and this is with ppf or someone tells you some bullshit like ppf lagaoge to dikhega ya ganda dikhta hai ya yellow ho jata hai ha yellow hota hai kuch films yellow ho jate hain why because you're using low quality films so with oxidation and over a period of time yes that film will turn yellow but if you're using a good quality ppf 
it's not really going to turn yellow and you need a little PPF maintenance as well. So if that is done, well, you will never be able to make out this PPF in the car and your car is going to be protected, which is the main thing at the end of the day. <laughs> pretty much done with the entire PPF process and the PPF has been put onto the paint as you can see so you can you can't really make out any difference between this which is a stock panel and this which has been done with PPF so if someone tells you next time don't get PPF done on your car you'll be able to see the difference or it looks bad this is a video you can probably show them and tell them this car has PPF you can't even make out that there is any PPF onto it if done properly this is a stock panel and this is the one with PPF and you can't really make out any difference. This is a mirror finish on it and we have literally taken nothing away from the finish of the car. It looks as original as possible because the application is the main part of it as well as the quality of the product which both we have ensured have been top notch. So yeah, this panel has been done, the doors have been done. Uh, we've got the bonnet also which has been done. You can see the shine on the bonnet. We've got a proper mirror finish. So the surface has to be prepared completely before you put the PPF so that the shine is there because the PPF is just a transparent sheet so it's going to highlight anything that is on your bonnet so if the bonnet has not been buffed out properly you'll be able to see all the imperfections and the scratches so if you want the best in paint protection PPF is the best self-healing paint protection PPF is the best there's nothing better than that and if you don't have the budget some parts can be done ceramic and some parts can be done PPF so you have a combination of both which would probably fit in your budget a lot better so now we're going to be doing the ceramic process for the other parts that have not been done with PPF. If someone tells you you're going to be doing ceramic over PPF, they're just giving you bullshit because that's, I mean, putting ceramic over PPF makes absolute no sense. They're probably just fleecing you off money. So if someone says they're putting ceramic on top of PPF, you know they're fleecing you off money, they're not going to do anything. So right now, ceramic for the parts that have not been done with PPF. So let's get started. <laughs> 